Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about semi churn in Oracle database. So, this is the definition. So, it returns one copy of each row in the first table for which at least one match found. And uh, with the semi churn, we have to use exit condition. So, at here, I am using uh, the two table. First is EMP. So, this is the record inside EMP table. So, I will do the joining on DPD number. And in DPD table, you get uh, at here or DPT number so here it's a common column between EMP and DPT so first I'm going to show you conventional giant concept so at here let's use select a statement select a star form and here yeah, let's use our DPT table and creating the alias of DPT table D now here after creating the alias of EMP table E and let's give here clause and here E dot so E dot DPT number equal to D dot DPT number and let's give order by DPT number now you execute to this query so and because okay Let's give d dot dpt number. So this d is the alias of dpt table. Now execute this query. So see at here when I use the, this kind of concept. So at here 10. So it's a returning duplicate here 10. It's a three times. But uh, we have to achieve uh, like uh, it returns copy of each row at the first table. So at here 10 is three times. So we need to display 10 at one times by using semi joint concept so let's do that so for this we have to just copy this to save some time so I'll select a start from db table and uh, I am going to use d dot d name or let's give that here, select a star form or dpt and here created the alias d from and hereafter we don't need to so select a star from dpt and hereafter uh, let's use where cause where cause and here going to use exits condition exits condition and you have to select a star from emp and here let's get alias e and here after let's use where e dot dpt number equal to d dot dpt number now here after let's give order by clause so going to make order by d dot dpt number now if you execute this query so see at here uh, it's uh, selected all the columns from uh, dpt table and here uh, where exits so select a star from emp so uh, the matching column at here for table is the dpt table so where e dot dpt number so 10 equal to 10 condition is true so that to display the records and here 10, 20 equal to 20 or uh, when that uh, equals so display the record 30 equal to 30 so when that equals so display the records but if you are using exit statement so at here when I used previous or uh, query this kind of query so 10 it's uh, at here or uh, it's uh, displaying th uh, three times but if you are using exit a statement and semi giant concept so at here 10 so three times uh, by using this key, it's a uh, displaying. But if you are using semi and exit statement, so it's a uh, displaying 10, 1 times, 20, 1 times, 31 times. So these are the things, yeah. So by using uh, same, uh, semi chain, it returns one copy of each row. So 10 was 3 times, so it's returned only one copy of first table. So this is the record for the first table. Uh, for which at least one match is found. So at least one match means the 10 is 10. 
10 equal to 10 e for e uh, db table and uh, db table and emp tables so the common value is the 10 so 10 you can find in emp so see at here 10 20 30 you get 10 instead also so see at here 10 and here in emp you get also 10 so when that is the display at least one match font so when that font 10 equal to 10 so that to uh, join here and hereafter this is uh, displaying one copy by using semi chat concept so about the exits condition i will discuss in my uh, later video for more detail now hereafter uh, you can try to this query another way so let's uh, use the uh, select a statement select a star from dpt table and hereafter let's use where clause and hereafter exits and hereafter uh, select a star from emp now hereafter let's use where clause and hereafter dpt dot dpt number equal to emp dot dpt number and here you can write order by cost if you want so order by dpt number now if you execute the same output you can achieve by this query so i forget by CRT, it's uh, only displaying one copy of 10, 20, and 30. So, uh, if you want, then you can try it right here. So, this time I used uh, I created the alias of DB table, and after that I joined. And here you can try to know it to create any alias. So, you have to use exit condition to achieve this kind of record. So, this is the use of uh, semi chain in oracle database so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you